Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the teams onto the pitch for tonight's Portsmouth Divisional FA Saturday Senior Cup between AFC Portsmouth and Adam Rupert-Bill. Good evening, welcome to the Portsmouth Senior Cup final between AFC Porchester and Hammond and Waterloo. Uh, it's a combination of a season finale for both sides. It's going to be both the sides' last games of the season uh, and it's played underneath the floodlights of Fratton Park tonight here. It's a lovely sunny evening here on the south coast. Uh, been warm all day and it's a perfect occasion for both sets of players who perhaps may have not played at Fratton Park here before. So it's going to be a fantastic occasion for both sides. Uh, but the kickoff is only moments away here at Fratton Park. There. And the Porchester can break here, and there's a three on three momentarily. Dan Wooden with the ball. He's playing it long. Steve Ramsey's there. He takes the ball down on the edge of the box. He hits it from distance. And it's straight into the hands of Ryan Young. First shot on target there going to FC Porchester. Oh, and the distribution from Young only falls as far as Andrew Todd. Todd into Alex Bollaccino. He's on the edge of the box here. He turns. It's back to Joe Bai. Ball coming in towards Andy Todd and Ryan Young's there. And this time his distribution is better. Uh, it's filled up a little bit more since I've last looked. Good contingency here tonight for uh, this Portsmouth Senior Cup final. Todd wins in the corner. There's a ball into the box towards Wooden. There's a chance. Oh, and it's, it's close. It's a lovely ball inside. Oh, it's cut out there. Well played by Simon Stone. And a lovely ball there from Steve Ramsey and Andy Todd. He's playing out to Dan Wooden, who's on the left flank here. He's been stood up here. Wooden across to Jake Morgan. He shoots and it's just over the bar. And I tell you what, that is a very good chance there for Porchester. A quick counter attack after nipping the ball. Michael Carter, who chips are looking for is Alfie Radford. It's dealt with by Simon Stone again. And uh, Rob Evans plays line to Todd, but can't quite get hold of it. Bolchino does well in the middle there to win. And uh, Wooden's on, and Wooden's in behind. And he's through on goal, and he's one on one with Ryan Young. It's chance for FC Porchester, and Ryan Young stands big. That's a big chance there for Porchester. Another one, in fact. That's two golden opportunities Dan Wooden's had to put Porchester in the head here. But Ryan Young come out and made himself big. It's to deny the Port uh, Porchester forward. Back as one of his own. And one in the middle there by Andy Todd. And it's just lost by Ramsey and now inside and it's a fantastic tackle by Harry Birmingham excellent stuff there by the youngster he's come up through the Porchester ranks and he has made that centre back spot his own this season James Hayter now stop Rutherford Hayter lovely play on the bucks it's through to Woodford it's into Rutherford it's Charles Hammond War Louisville it's off the post and it's away and that was fantastic football from Hammond and War Louisville somehow though the ball hit the inside of the post and crept away and it was cleared by Porchester that's the closest we've came to a goal here so far at Fratton Park this evening the score still remains nil-nil here the corner now to Waterlooville it's played on the edge of the box for Rutherford who hits it and it's held by Lewis Noyce well that was had some sting on it with Mick Catlin and Suss still as managers next season perhaps attracting a few more bigger names as we come forward now with Joe Bai who plays it in Alex Baldacino is in behind there's a chance he goes for goal and it just flashes across the face of goal it's a lovely flowing move again by Porchester long ball down the line that was by Birmingham big tackle in there he takes his own man out and Joe Bai into Baldacino he's got some space here and he's squaring up Carter and he's got Steve Ramsey coming forward it's Baldacino he goes for goal and it's just wide again and there's the referee's whistle for half time it's been a mixed hot first half chances for both sides uh, Dan Wooden had probably the biggest chance of the game for Porchester early on where he put set through on goal down the left hand side but Ryan Young stood big and Alfie Rutherford could have scored for having a Waterlooville but clipped the inside of the post but it's been a close first half here nothing in it to separate the two sides and the score is at half time AFC Porchester nil having a Waterlooville nil Rutherford can't bring it down but wins it back off Ramsey and will now play it out to Bradley Tarburg formerly of Pompey he had one appearance in a League Cup game against Plymouth in a 3-0 loss 
Back with Portsmouth, Dutch, the ball in, it's a chance, it's a goal. And it's 1-0 Avenue in Waterloo, it's James Hayter at the back stick. It was Bradley Tarbuck with the cross in. And a thumping header by the veteran James Hayter. And that's 1-0 Havan and Waterloo. We've come out the blocks fast in the spark of the second half. And Portchester find themselves down a goal behind. And they were saying Williams probably been one of the best players. But as I say, and that he's come down the left-hand side now. He's in behind. Again, Evans mops up. Oh, it's on the edge of the box to Whittenham. And it's straight at Lewis Noyce. To Bobby Scott. He's squared up by Woodford. It's Bobby Scott. Plays it on the edge to Joe Bai. Joe Bai hits it, deflects it. It breaks through. It's a chance to Bobby Scott. And it's, oh, it's sweeped up by Dinsky. And he clatters, been clattered into by Bobby Scott. Completely accidentally. And Dodinsky has stayed down. It was there to be won. Look at a switch towards Bradley Tarbuck. But it's headed away by Birmingham. Tarbuck picks it up, though. He's squared up by Joe Bai. Tarbuck's running through. It's Bradley Tarbuck. Bradley Tarbuck goes for it. And it's into the side netting. And uh, uh, Willie, oh, it's, it's, it's Rutherford, it's Rutherford with a chance, he's squared up, it's Rutherford, it's a great save by Lewis Noyce with his feet. Although being injured, had to sit on the bench and allow Cameron Scott to fill in and deputise. But oh, oh Baldacino, there's been a slip, it's Baldacino with a chance, and it's into the side to Jake Morgan, it's Morgan, it's deflected, and oh, it's, oh, it's cleared. Why didn't Baldacino shoot? He had a chance. That's... That's got Porches to go in now though. Simon Stone. Boldacino once again. He's squared up by two. It's on the edge to Jake Morgan. Here's a go. It's deflected. Steve Ramsey wins. And it's hooked away by Haven. You're into the first round proper. It's a long forward to Rutherford who chests well. And there's chance. And it's 2 0 Haven and Waterloo full. And it was a fantastic chest and finish there by Alfie Rutherford. Very, very cultured finish. And this tie now looks out of the hands of AFC Porchester. Heartbreak for them, really. They've played excellent tonight. But having them Waterfalls, Louisville's class, just coming through there. At pace. Rutherford, the goal scorer. Tarbuck again. He's checked his run by Jake Morgan. He delivers, and it's headed away by Ollie Sell. And it's far Rutherford. Stood by Harry Birmingham. It's a low driven. It's 3 0. It's James Hayter there at the back post. And the floodgates are beginning to open now. Lovely flowing move by Haven. And their class has begun to show now. James Hayter has his second of the night. It's 3 0. Haven and Waterloo for flank. Steve Ramsey now picks up the ball. He looks inside towards Bobby Scott. Bobby Scott wins it. And it's strains hard to Dzinski. Half a chance there for Porchester. Bobby Scott sniffing at the back post. Haven't still coming forward now. Squared up by Simon Stone by Williams looking to deliver. It's a left footed ball into James Hayter who's on his hat trick and it's over the bar. Wit with whistle to mouth as well. That is full time. Haven and Waterloo Ball are your 2017-2018 Portsmouth Senior Cup winners. Are winning by three goals to nil. Two goals on the night by James Hayter and one from Alfie Rutherford was enough to secure the win. The scoreline isn't a fair reflection of how this game went. Porchester did have their chances in the first half. But the experience of the Southern Conference champions proved enough. And it's Haven and Waterloo Ball who pick up the win here. It was AFC Porchester nil, Haven and Waterloo all free. Uh, Porchester needs to be proud. They had their chances, they had the opportunities, and they should be proud of their performance tonight. They have done well.
Sus, disappointing 3-0 loss in the end tonight, but the performance was there. How do you assess that? You just assessed it perfectly. So we, we put in a real good performance against a real good side. Clearly they're a real good side um, and we more than matched them for, for long periods of the game. Um, ultimately it came down to you know, the, them in the final third to put their chances away. You know, we had a couple of real good chances that on another day fancy fancy our players to put in the back of the net but unfortunately it didn't happen for us and, and they punished us so yeah we're disappointed but we shouldn't be overly disappointed because we've lost to a real good side absolutely on the crest of a wave as a conference team we've just been beat by 3-0 um, and I'm I, honestly I'm as proud of my players tonight as probably Lee is of his so no, it's been a decent night for us albeit not the result we were looking for yeah the opening 45 minutes there you're certainly in the game was that what do you say to players at half time was it more of the same a, a goal did kill the game a little bit straight yeah, after the break there you I almost think what we said at half time uh, went against us because we conceded in 90 seconds. No, we did just say, you know, more the same if we could. You know, could we um, keep up the work rate? Could we make sure that we stayed in the game for as long as we could? And unfortunately, 90 seconds in, um, they get their goal. But again, uh, another massive positive point was I thought the lads kicked on and we had some real good chances again. You know, and Chino goes through and squares to someone because he's got a little pull in his ankle when you think oh he could score a good Bobby Scott header we had a good couple of chances at 1-0 and if we could have equalised who knows where the game would have finished but it is what it is Was it also nice for the style of football that you wanted the team to play all year to finally be able to put it on a decent surface was it nice to be able to watch that tonight as a, as a manager Yeah so it's 64th game that is and um, it's probably about the 8th maybe ninth time if we're lucky that we've put the sort of performance together that we wanted to do as in football performance and um yeah, I thought we played some decent stuff tonight and certainly stuff for us to build on for next year. Clearly, the surface out was a great pitch tonight. Um, ours has started today, so fingers crossed we'll have a good uh, pitch ourselves next year as well. And if we can turn a few more better performances uh, into our game next year, then fingers crossed we can finish a little bit further at the, at the table. And as you just said there, 64th game of the season, one League Cup win as well this year. Mm -hmm. How do you assess the season as a whole, your first full season in charge of FC Porchester? Um, I think it's been relatively successful. Clearly, when you're a manager, and you know I am the manager, but I've got Katz, who's a joint manager, Amo, huge part of the team, and everyone, everyone else involved in the staff. Oh, you no. know, our remit was that we wanted to get promoted this year, and we haven't. So we look at that and go, "Oh, that's disappointing." Um, oh, no. But there were many positives, and the positives were that we've had a lot of youth players come in. You know, um, a lot of reserve players have been promoted into the first team. We've won more than we've lost. We finished higher than we did last year. Like I said, we had two cup finals. I think the future's bright. I think we've got some real good young players, uh, some good experienced lads still involved as well. And um, I think we can only go forward again next year. So, so yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Plus, that's everything. No, it's top match.